helping these people at the nursing home, it is a ministry. And you can't do it, even if you're a son or a daughter, without the love of God. We just have to open our hearts and let Him work through us. That everything they do is a sense of accomplishment, it's fulfilling a goal, and it's improving their self-worth. I don't care what it is that they do, where there's forward movement in their, in, in their accomplishment, it's that confidence that comes with a sense of accomplishment, of doing it. The brain atrophies if you don't use it, but once you start stimulating it, it comes back again. And I found out this to be true with my mother, that she's cognizant, she's receptive, everything. She's not the same person that as she was two years ago when I wasn't coming out to see her. Uh, it's a calling to all of us, and I feel that the first ones on the battle line should be the family because you can't expect anybody else to, to, to do that, uh, to take care of them if you don't take care of them first. So I feel that uh, you know, the, the scripture says, honor your father, honor your mother, and I feel that that's what it is when we come over here to take care of our parents. And, and there's uh, no greater reward than to help them because he states in scripture, in helping them, you're helping me. And I tell myself, how can I not come every day? That's my mentality, how can I not come every day when she's my mother? And I, and I feel encouraged to encourage other people to, uh, to do the same. Two, three, four, five, all the way, six, seven, eight, <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve. I like it because it picks your head up. Makes you sit up straight. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 25, 21, 22, 23, 24,